here on the channel, we've talked about a lot of idiots, a lot of goofballs, a lot of people who really need to be called out and criticized. And someone that I never talked about is Fresh and Fit. And in case you guys don't know who these people are, uh, bless you. They're a podcast. It's two guys. This is Fresh. And this is fit. <laughs> the whole thing consists of helping men improving their dating game, fitness, social media, their finance. Just be an alpha male, if you will. They always talk about how you should never fall in love with dumb hoes, with bimbos, their words, not mine. How you should never fall in love with the wrong girl. And this guy right here claims to have over a thousand bodies. Yeah, dude, I believe you. Sure, a thousand women. They obviously were not escorts. All you gotta know about these people is they're goofy their quote-unquote advice is the most basic shit ever don't fall in love with prostitute i thought everyone knew that but the plot twist is that this guy right here this guy fell in love with a alleged escort from china and now she's pregnant with what is allegedly his baby you cannot be preaching one thing don't chase hoes. Don't fall in love with prostitutes or escorts. Only use them for your satisfaction and then turn around and do the same thing you're criticizing. So this is from today, literally from a few hours ago. Fresh and fit podcast host slammed for allegedly bailing on pregnant girlfriend. This guy failed to take his own advice. Don't fall for hoes, falls for an alleged escort. And then on top of that, get her pregnant. And on top of that, there's photos of him allegedly taking the girl with his mama to meet her. You don't introduce just any random girl to your parents, especially your mom. I don't do that to a random girl that I'm only going to see once or twice. I introduce someone to my mom when it's serious. I'm not going to take a one night stand or an escort to meet my mom. So if you took your mom to China or you brought the girl to meet your mom, that's kind of a big deal. It's like if you watch Fresh and Fit, which I don't think a lot of people in my audience watches, they're always against this type of behavior. How are you going to say that and then do the complete opposite and fall in love with an escort and then get her pregnant on top of everything and i quote you always told me you wanted me to be your baby mother <laughs> she wrote i loved you and did everything to be a good girlfriend now this is happening you walked away and then the guy responded with i'll call you shortly take your time i can't have kids and that is why when you're getting it on you wear protection and a grown-ass man like him you would assume he would know better right don't act stupid now if this was anyone else the fresh and fit podcast would be mocking them and making fun of them and then it gets even worse from here and it's like don't get me wrong i think the guy is corny and cringe do i think the girl is an innocent person no no i think both people here are very shitty and this call proves my point yeah i don't want to kill nobody i don't want to you're not they just give you a pill and it's over no no i'm pregnant no but that's what i'm saying the pill they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good i am pregnant i can't pretending like nothing happened i can't in my religion we don't kill you're not killing okay i want to keep the baby okay well like i said i just don't want any kids you know okay so what you gonna do and what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I go to the, to the doctor, I guess. So you want abortion? You know what? I don't feel bad for either. She knows what she's doing, right? I'm not saying she's an angel, but the guy isn't either. 50-50 here. In order for a baby to be born, you need two people. You both chose to go at it raw. And it makes it so much worse knowing that these people, these men, are so against sex workers and thoughts and bimbos and hoes. Yet they participate. And on top of that, they're not inside. You're doing the same thing you're criticizing. It's like if one day I just turned into mini lad after making so many videos against that type of behavior and out of nowhere i'm like texting 12 year olds i went full mini lad i showed my mini lad to mini lads or i went full adp i didn't take my own advice and you know who i feel bad for the kid i am so sorry if that kid is ever born i feel for him maybe it's better he's not born so he doesn't have to see all of this <laughs>
and then for fresh to be peer pressuring this woman into getting an abortion and why do you make me pregnant now because i'm like there's no way that that's true but then it's like, oh wow like so just think about it it's mean to be god wants you to have the baby definitely not it is god wants you to have a baby seven years never happened and then you're relate in a relate you're fucking me for a month and i'm pregnant what does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already said by having sex, but it's too late now. You know? I don't know. Like she knew what she was doing with recording the calls and leaking the text messages that we're about to get into. I don't want anyone to be like, "Poor girl, she did nothing wrong." Like both of these people suck. Well, one sucks a little less, and this is not the first time this happens with Fresh, by the way. No Tom like this. There's some something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like oh, um. Shit. Basically, you about to tell this story? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do so it. basically, right? I was with this chick, and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out, but she got pregnant. And then um, <laughs> I kind of told her like, "Yo, we can work this out. Don't worry about it. But we can't fizz right now." <laughs> and then um, I did the hail mary, and now I'm here. No, tell them what the hail mary is. Tell them what the hail mary is. <laughs> Tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hail Mary is the first example, right? Where like, you tell the chick what she wants to hear, and uh, you have kids later on, you make her get an abortion, you take her to get at McDonald's, get a McGriddle, and an orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life, and uh, you start this happen, and you, you never see her again. Hey. I don't know about you guys, but that is extremely based and red pill. I definitely want to join this community. <laughs> like these people, how do you self snitch this badly? This is a pattern of behavior with this guy. Nuts on a girl who's most likely an escort and then goes in their podcast and says, you should never date hoes. Uh, then I found this tweet and it says, fresh and fit run a dating advice show for a man but literally fell in love with a Chinese prostitute, the red pill has officially died. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but, you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time until mm -hmm. she comes back. So, can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Um, I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Let me think. I don't know about you guys, but I don't tell random ass people that I'm hooking up with or random ass people as is that I love them. It's like this girl flew from China to Florida my, to be with them. You don't do that just for anybody. So for her to fly not only once, but back and forth and then for her to meet your mama, allegedly, it had to be something serious. You don't do that on the first day or in the first month. So there is definitely more to it. And here we have even more text messages. So she says, all I'm saying is you should take the responsibility for what you did. I am a victim in this relationship and I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. And then he responds with, also, now I'm worried I have to test another girls, at least four. So Fresh is just giving everyone his seat. Don't take advice from these losers. They don't even follow their own advice. I hope you have all the money for your child support. Then he responds with, I don't have money. Good luck, LOL, you will see. Now, like I said at the start, their whole YouTube channel was demonetized a few months ago, so they don't make any money unless it's via other means of super chatting. I wouldn't be surprised if Fresh is broke, despite the fact that they're always like, we're the top 1%, we're so successful, we're so rich, yada, yada, yada. And I don't know why anyone would take that advice who would want to be like these fucking losers so you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna stand by the guys that stand by me because you fucking pieces of shit are fucking there when i'm going through it you pieces of shit are fucking there when i'm fucking figuring out what the fuck i'm gonna do because we got demonetized you motherfuckers weren't there when everyone and their fucking mom came at us you motherfuckers weren't there when i got the false accusation and then you dumbasses three years later believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again I'm not <laughs> This is so dramatic. Again. Yeah, this reminds me of when I was younger and my mom and I would get bad grades and my mom would take away my Xbox 360 cables. That's how I would react. Again. You fucking idiots. These guys are nothing but frauds. Corny. They're as fake and corny as they come. And here we have more text messages. Yes, can't wait. Try to come back on March. This is the girl. You'll be a good boyfriend. I'll be waiting for my girlfriend. They were clearly an item. If this was anyone else and they would have come on the Fresh and Fit podcast saying, yo, so I'm dating this uh, alleged Chinese escort. What do you think? 
They would have made fun of him. Would have been like, dump that thought, that hoe ASAP. Where's that same attitude? Where's that same energy at? <laughs> It's like your reputation is in the toilet. You're losing your credibility by the second. If you go to their channel right now, 1.7 million subscribers, and I'm just scrolling to see the top comment, and it says, making fun of single moms and makes a woman a single mom. Congrats, you play yourself. Top comment. Any man who dodges his responsibility as a father is no man at all. I've lost all respect for these two goofballs. I really don't know why I ever listened to these people's advice. Good, wake up, snap out of it. Preach about accountability, yet refuse to take accountability. These guys are beta AF. Imagine busting in escorts and wondering <laughs> and wondering why they claim pregnancy. You couldn't put a little protection there. Are you really that broke? You can't afford $5 condoms. These dudes do not practice what they preach. It's a shame. But with that said, what do you guys think of the situation? Let me know in the comments below. I love you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. With that said, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Be safe and always wear protection. Please, you don't want to end up like these losers.